I'm Frank Rolf. I'm with Mobile Home Park Funds. We're the 10th largest owner of mobile home parks in the U.S. We have about 14,000 lots, about 20 states. And we focus strictly on the affordable housing segment of the industry. I got into mobile home park in a, in a roundabout way like many people did back 20 years ago. I owned a large billboard business, which I sold off to what is now Clear Channel. And I was searching for something new to invest in and I found an old, terrible mobile home park in Dallas, and the guy offered me a sweetheart deal. He'd sell me an 83-space park for $400,000, $10,000 down, he would carry the financing on $390,000. So even though it was in the wrong part of town, it was in terrible condition, I bought it to see if I could actually turn it around, turned it around, bought another, and another, and another, and another, and today we own about 150 parks. Mobile home park business is a lot larger than people think. There's roughly 44,000 mobile home parks in the U.S., so it's just about the same size as the self-storage industry. Roughly 6 to 8 percent of the U.S. population lives in a mobile home. Our largest investor in mobile home manufacturing and financing is Warren Buffett, well-known name. The largest owner of parks is Sam Zell. He's also the largest owner of office buildings and apartments. So it's actually a very, very large industry that most people just are not aware exists. The mobile home park industry is the most fragmented sector in real estate. Self-storage is roughly four times more consolidated than we are. So roughly only 2,000 mobile home parks in America are institutionally owned out of 44,000. Our average tenant is all over the map because we deal in affordable housing. So when you need affordable housing, sometimes you're making $50,000 a year, but in a very expensive neighborhood, sometimes you're making minimum wage. So it's a very wide range, but roughly it runs from people making $20,000 a year household income to probably forty dollars or $50,000 a year of household income. We capture everything from minimum wage workers up to probably the lower part of the middle class. 